it's been a long time. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a super long time since I've uploaded a video on my channel, so thank you so much for clicking on this and coming back and watching my stuff, even though it's been a long time and since I've started my little hiatus due to work-related reasons and also due to personal reasons. Now, for this video, I'm going to be doing my January and my February book haul. Honestly, I have like towers of books around my room right now that I have to kind of show you guys before I can put them away and I want to clean my room, so this is why I'm actually sitting down and filming a book haul. I received a lot of books from publishers and also a lot of books that I purchased myself and also I bought a lot of ebook book orders too as well because I can't stop myself when I'm on eBay and I'm going to break it down into different videos obviously because there's just too many books. For this haul I'm just going to only focus on books that I purchased myself from bookstores and also books I received from publishers so let's get started. So the first book that I do want to talk about is actually a book that was sent to me from Penguin Random House Canada. This one is called Serena Singh Flips the Script by Sonia Laley and now I love Sonia Laley's writing. I feel like her books do talk about some characters that are very flawed and it does have plot lines that do get a little complicated, sometimes really messy, but I feel like it's a true representation of life. You're not going to get cookie cutter characters in her books and you're going to get characters who are a little bit stubborn in their ways and they're definitely like flawed to the point that you might get a little bit annoyed at the characters. So keep in mind when you do dive into one of Sonia's writing, I appreciate them a lot and I give them pretty high ratings because I know this is the style of character that Sonia is trying to portray. This book is actually about a character named Serena Singh. She knows that she doesn't want to follow a traditional route where she gets married and she has children, but her mother plays a very big role in her life and her mother actually tries to set her up on a lot of dates and make sure that she goes down that traditional route just like her younger sister. Um, this book seems like it's going to follow a lot about finding yourself, finding your passions in life. So the next book that was actually sent to me from Penguin Random House Canada again is called The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai and now I love Sarah Desai size writing. Um, she wrote the her debut novel called The Marriage Game and this one follows a similar plot line where our main female character is kind of like judged for not getting married and not being in a strong relationship. So our main character is Daisy Patel so she decides to create a fake relationship with a boy named Liam Murphy and now Liam Murphy and Daisy are going to have this partnership so that they can both benefit from each other and uh, both raise their reputations so that they can get what they want in life. So I think that this one's going to be really good. This one also follows a best friend's little sister trope which is one of my favorite tropes so I'm super excited to dive in. I heard many great things about this one. So the next book that was sent to me is actually from Forever Romance. This one's from Jenny Holiday called Sandcastle Beach and this is the third book in a matchmaker Bay novel series and I absolutely love Jenny Holiday. If you guys are new to my channel or if I haven't been talking enough about Jenny and you haven't seen it, um, basically Jenny is one of my favorite Canadian authors. I really like her romances, especially from Forever Romance. I'm really excited to finish this trilogy. This one seems like it's going to be really cool. This one is about a girl named Maya and basically Maya needs a business grant and then afterwards she decides to hire this like ex-pop star, like you know this run-of-the-mill pop star, to help her boost her business but then a local bar owner who is our, actually our main hero he is upset because he wants the business grant and he decides to fight Maya for it and then afterwards he's also getting really jealous because the ex-pop star might have actually a thing for Maya so I think that this one's going to be really good. So the next book that was sent to me from Forever Romance is a historical romance that I think I'm gonna absolutely love. This one's called A Rogue to Remember by Emily Sullivan and I never read Emily's works before. I don't know if this is her debut novel but this one's basically about a girl who is really rich. She has a high diary and she doesn't want to be married to guys who just want her for her money so she decides to have a plan where she ruins herself so that the family has nothing to do but to send her off and have her pose as a widow so that she can live her life freely and you know use the money that she rightfully owns and things like that. But what happens is that our main hero who is actually a spy actually is hired to bring her back and to make sure that she is safe and then this is kind of like their romance between a spy and an heiress who seems like she's a little bit spoiled in, in his opinion. So I think I'm gonna really like this one especially because I love spy romances and this is the dynamic that I really like. 
liking characters. So the next book is actually a book that I purchased myself. This is another historical romance. This one's called Lessons in French by Laura Kinsall. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have probably already seen me talking about this book on my Instagram stories. If you guys haven't yet, follow me on Instagram because I talk about books there frequently in my stories. So this one seems like it's going to be one of my favorites. It's a childhood friends to lovers romance and it also kind of follows an enemies to lovers romance too. This one has a lot of like persuasion vibes from Jane Austen where basically our main characters were in love. They were childhood friends and they were caught kissing but then our heroine's father doesn't like our hero because our hero isn't like upper class and have a lot of money and then afterwards they're forced to be apart but years later he returns back and he's actually very successful he's a business owner and he has a lot of money and now this is kind of like their second chance romance and I'm super excited to dive into this one. So the next book is actually another book that I purchased myself after seeing my friends on Instagram post a picture of this. I absolutely love the cover of this so I'm going to zoom in like put it a little closer to the camera so you can see how it's so beautiful it's like kind of like a shipwreck situation they're lying on the beach they're having fun this one's called hero wanted by bettany cron and now i never read a book by her before but she is a very seasoned author she wrote a lot of historical romances so this is definitely not her first one um she's been writing ever since like i think the 1980s so this one is described to be as a very action-packed romance and it hardly has any heat and smoky like scenes that we've all been used to in historical romances um my friend actually told me that and she warned me it so that i wouldn't be too disappointed point it when I read the book but it's filled with a lot of action and a very thrilling plot line. This one's about two characters who are forced to have a marriage together but then what happens is that she's not impressed by him because he doesn't want to help these two girls who kind of fell into the ocean so she decides to be a hero herself and then a reporter finds her and writes articles about her because she's so different from other girls. So the next few books that I want to talk about is actually books that were sent to me from Lorraine Heath and now if you guys didn't know I hosted a historical romance readathon a couple weeks back in the beginning of like at the end of January and then I had an Instagram live with Lorraine Heath. I asked her and then she said yes and I was super excited because I love Lorraine's writing. We started talking about her western romances too and I said that I want to try western romances because that's a big genre and Lorraine wrote some and then she was kind enough to actually send me her series. So the first book that she sent me was Texas Destiny. This one is about a mail order bride and then she gets off the train station. She sees her husband or her fiance and then she is instantly attracted to him but then turns out is that that guy that's standing there is actually not her husband but it's actually her husband's brother and then this is kind of like their forbidden romance between these two people who weren't supposed to be together but find themselves loving each other in the end as they kind of make their way across the land so that they can go back home from the train station and then this is kind of like their road trip romance. So the next book is Texas Glory and now this one is about our older brother who was in the other previous book that I just mentioned and this one is basically about a father selling off her daughter to be someone's wife and then this is our main heroine and our main heroine is very shy because our main hero is like a very manly man and he and our hero actually doesn't believe that he deserves love and that he can ever be loved so this is kind of like the romance between these two characters. I really like characters who think that they're like they can't be loved because they're it's always so heartbreaking and they always have like some really nice story to go with it. So then one of the last books in the series is Texas Splendor. This one is about our main hero who just got out of prison and then afterwards he realizes that the person that he loves actually left him and married someone else. So he's heartbroken by it and on the way home he meets a girl with her dog and this is kind of like their love story because she is very sweet and she's very kind but she also has like this backstory that she is not telling him. So one of the novellas in the series is called Texas Legacy and Lorraine sent me this one. This one is about two characters I think who are childhood friends and then afterwards he thinks that he's undeserving of her because of his background but they decide to spend one night together on her 19th birthday and then afterwards he soon discovers that he made the greatest mistake of his life by damaging her so then afterwards he decides to pack up and leave and this is kind of like their second chance romance. So the next few books that I want to show you is I'm going to go quickly through them because they're just, I just bought them for covers and you guys probably already know these books but basically um, to all the boys finally finish all the films and uh, they have all the movie covers available on my bookstore and I decided hey um, Asian representation 
Asian diversity, why not buy the covers? So I have To All The Boys I Loved Before, then I have P.S. I Still Love You, and then I have Always and Forever, Laura Jean. And now the movie series. I didn't really like the movies, and nor do I really think that the main actress in the movie series is a particularly good actress, and nor did I think that this series is actually a really good series because these are my unpopular opinions. I didn't care for these books. I didn't care for the movies. Except for the second one. I really like the second movie, but um, I just I just think they're so pretty, and I think they're so gorgeous, and it's it's like such a monumental series in the Asian book community because it was like the one thing that kind of like blew up and it was like all over Netflix and then you know finally like we were being seen and our actors were being kind of casted into like these big productions. So the next book I received is actually from Sourcebooks Casablanca and now this one's Enjoy the View and it's by Sarah Morgenthaler. This one's the third book in her series and I think it's the last book in her series um, that takes place in this like small town in Alaska but basically our main heroine is a former childhood actress and then she decides that she doesn't want to be a part of like the you know Hollywood lights anymore. She wants to be behind the camera, she wants to be a director so she decides to film a documentary about this small town that this book series takes place in and then there she learns that this city is very very or this town is very unforgiving of like new people and she starts to get like hazed and then she's trying to like work her way through it and then she meets a man who's really nice he's a mountaineer um he loves to climb mountains and he really is one with nature they seem like they're kind of like opposites attract but they're not i'm actually in the middle of reading this book right now and you know a very spoiler alert for this review already is that i don't really like it so far but you know what i'm glad that i'm finishing up the series so the next book that i have to show you is actually just another like cover box I already read Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This was like one of the books that I read right at the top of my list when I joined Bookstagram. Bookstagram was my, my main blogging platform for a longest time when I first started and I saw everybody talk about this book. Back then I was like not working yet. I was broke university student so I was just like oh fuck like I can never read Anna and the French Kiss and I remember just like borrowing a library book and then reading it and then going like what is the hype about Anna and the French Kiss because Lola and the Boy Next Door is the best book in the series but this one is like their special like edition series I think it's like maybe 10th 10th anniversary like 10th year anniversary this is a hardback it's beautifully printed it's just so gorgeous and this was pretty pricey this was like $30 but I needed it on one of these shelves because it's just so gorgeous. So the next book that I purchased is Yellow Wife by Sadeka Johnson and I totally butchered her name so I'm very sorry for it but this one is definitely making waves in adult fiction especially adult historical fiction. This one is basically about a black woman who is protected and then she is not a slave she's kind of free and then after her mother lets her go explore but then she is captured and she's kept as a slave and this is kind of like her story fighting for freedom and also enjoying that like very um point that very that very detrimental point in history for America and for like slavery and I think this one's going to be really interesting and really good I've seen really great reviews of it on Goodreads and Amazon so I'm excited to read this book. so the next book that I have here is actually a gift that was sent to me from Jessica from Peace Love Books this was my Christmas gift that came in like February so like it was kind of really late thank you book depository this one's called The Book Ninja by Ali Berg and Michelle Callis and now uh, the reason why I purchased this book was because I saw on Instagram and then I read about, about it and then I love characters who love books because I love books but this one is basically about a girl who struggles with dating she wants to be in a relationship she has online dating and everything like that but she decides to take matters in her own hands by writing little notes and putting it into books and then having strangers pick up those books and then afterwards um basically call her up and see if they want to date and have fun but then afterwards she has like a spontaneous kiss with this man named Sunny and then afterwards turns out that Sunny is the complete opposite of her because Sunny has never really read before and he's not a reader so this is their kind of like opposites attract romance. So the next box set that I wanted to show you is actually a box set that I purchased on my local bookshop because these books were only $25 for four hardcovers and these are classic children novels so first we have here is Peter Pan by 
J.M. Barry, and I'd never read Peter Pan before and I've tried to watch the movie but I was kind of bored by it but I'm excited to read the book. Then we have The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham and I never heard about this book before but it's very pretty. It's hardcover. It's gorgeous. And then next we have The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgins Burnett and now I read I think it's called A Little Princess and I really like that book so I'm excited to read The Secret Garden plus The Secret Garden I think is more popular than that novel and um, I'm sure it has a lot of great reasons so I'm excited to read that one as too. And then we have Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery and now this book is like literally the most popular classic children fiction novel that you will hear about from Canada so I have to read it. We have even a show about it called Anne with an E so that means that I just have to read this classic novel very soon and I'm really digging this edition. We didn't even make any progress to this tower that's happening over here but we are going through it now. So the next book that I have is actually Time Travel Historical Romance I picked up from Thrift Books because I saw the series on Thrift Books and it's labeled under time travel. Time travel is one of my favorite tropes so that's why I had to get it. This one's called Highland Night and it's about a girl who basically time travels back into school like Scotland back in the olden days and she falls in love with a knight in battle. So super interested in reading these ones and I can't wait to give my reviews on them for you too. So in both my hands are actually two Lorraine Heath novels that I picked up for myself because I didn't own these books. I thought I owned all of Lorraine Heath's novels but turns out I don't. So this one is called Duke of Her Own and then afterwards the back of this one is very pretty. I really like this one. Um, this one is basically about a girl who's poor and then afterwards she knows that she can't marry one because she doesn't have a dowry attached to her name so she decides to kind of like live her life as being a chaperone to this girl who's really wealthy. Our main hero needs to marry for wealth but then he finds himself more attracted to our heroine who is actually poor. So the next book that I also picked up is also from Lorraine Heath. This one's called An Invitation to Seduction and basically this one is about our main character who is betrothed to a groom to be. He's seemingly perfect, he's seemingly handsome, you know everything's right with him but then she is very deeply attracted to a rogue who is our main hero and then our main hero learns that our main heroine is marrying off to this fool and now he has to stop the marriage and I'm just really excited for this one because it also sounds like there's some mystery and there's also a lot of action involved into it as well. So the next book is actually another Lorraine Heath novel. I bought it because it's really pretty and I really like this new cover. This one's called Never Love a Cowboy. It's another western romance which is weird for me because I don't read western romances but it's Lorraine Heath so I want to try this one is basically about an earl like he's an English earl travels all the way to Texas and then he falls in love with a girl in, in Texas and then this is kind of their unlikely love romance. This is kind of like an opposites attract romance too as well because they are not from the same tracks in life. The next book that I have is actually a historical romance that seems like it's going to be like a road trip romance. This one is called Waiting for a Scott Like You by Eva Lee and now I never read Eva Lee's novels before but I'm willing to give it a try. This one is about a girl who is going on a road trip but then her protector is our main hero and our hero doesn't expect that the person that he's protecting is very smart, very pretty, and very witty. So I'm excited to read this one. I love road trip romances, especially historical romances. So since we are already on the topic of historical romances. I'm going to run through some quickly Lindsay Sand historical romances that I picked up because I love the new covers. This one is Love is Blind. It's one of my favorite Lindsay Sands historical romances. This one's about a girl who is basically blind and then our guy is there to protect her and then afterwards um, there's a lot of like matchmaking schemes if I remember correctly from both families which I find very cute and I highly recommend this book. The next one that I have is actually called The Brat. I actually have an older edition of this novel. It's about a girl who's kind of like um, has a very wealthy grandfather and is also like the king or something like that and then afterwards basically she is um, known to be as a brat because she made her reputation that way so that she can protect herself from the very evil girls in the castle because if she's a brat then people would know that to back away from her basically but then in reality she's actually very kind she's very generous and then afterwards our main hero needs to marry and then they kind of get into this arranged marriage and then he learns that her his wife is actually not a brat. So the next book that I have here is actually another Lindsay Sands novel. This one's called The Switch. Our main heroine wants to protect her twin sister because the uncle wants to wed 
her to like this very evil guy so then afterwards our main heroine dresses herself as a boy helps her twin sister escapes but in the middle of it gets caught by our hero who actually helps them um transport easily across england so that afterwards that they can both be protected so the next historical romance is something that i'm very excited about this one's called a wicked way to win an earl by anna bradley and i've never read any of her books i never heard of her name before but i found it on amazon and i really wanted to read it right away this one's basically about a main heroine who is uh, being sought after by our hero's brother and then our hero doesn't like this because our heroine's family actually soiled his family's name but then like I guess like forgiveness happened but then our hero doesn't forgive and then afterwards he decides that he wants to ruin her reputation so he tries to seduce her but then meanwhile our main heroine already knows that he's trying to seduce her because it's like not obvious but she's smart enough to catch on that he's not true to his words so then th this is kind of like a cat and mouse game where they both try to pretend that they don't know each other's plans and I'm really excited to read this one. So the next book that I picked up is actually Wedding Night with an Earl by Amelia Gray and now she's a new to me author. I read some of her books before and you'll see some videos featuring her novels um soon but this one is the last book in the series that I was reading this one's basically about our main hero who is scarred at a very young age because he was married at a very young age and then his wife actually died in childbirth so then now he is like rugged and he doesn't believe in love and he doesn't want to marry anymore because it's so painful and so hurtful until he meets the one who is our heroine so check it out. So I'm going to go really quickly over these two MC romances. Basically these two MC romances are from Sophie Jordan. Sophie Jordan is quote unquote one of my favorite historical romance authors but after looking through the ratings that I give her for her books I don't know why I think she's my favorite because all her books are literally only a three, a two and a half or maybe somewhat like a four star but never five star reads. But regardless I found her two books on sale on Amazon so I decided to pick it up. This one's called Fury on Fire and this one is called All Chained Up. Basically Lacey also said that these books were really good and she enjoyed them. Um, this series is actually just basically about heroes that are bad boys and by bad boys I mean like they've literally been in prison and now they came out and now they find love and they're on the right side of the track. So excited to read them. I also just found another Lindsay Sands novel that I picked up. This one's called Highline Treasure. This one's her latest historical romance, I believe. And this one's basically about another road trip romance, bodyguard romance. Basically, our hero is protecting our fem female heroine after she is... Um, like kind of like left in danger during like this battle or something so I'm excited to read her books. The next book that I picked up is actually a contemporary romance novel by Suzanne Mallory and I hardly read any of her books but I found it on and I found it at Walmart because it was true for 15 so I decided to pick it up. This one's called Someone Like You. This one is about a female character who started her own small law firm in a small town that she never thought that she would come back but then she finds herself also meeting the long-term crush that she fell in love with in went during her early childhood years and then now this is kind of their second chance romance. So the next book that I got is actually a book that I received from Source books Casablanca. This one's called Happy Singles Day by Anne Marie Walker and this one is an opposites attract romance featuring a single father and I'm absolutely going to adore it already. So our main hero actually has a type A personality. She is a planner and then she plans an event that actually takes place near our hero's bed and breakfast and then afterwards it kind of disturbs his peace and this is kind of like an enemies to lovers romance too as well. Super excited to pick this one up. So the next book that I have is actually this book called Accidentally Engaged by Farrell Hiran and now she is a Canadian author. I met Farah already and I think that she is a great author and she's a great person and basically she wrote this book with Forever Romance and Forever Romance was kind enough to send me a copy. This one is a fake engagement um, type trope novel and it's about these two characters who decide to fake date so that she can join into this like couples baking competition which I'm super excited to read. So the next book that I have is actually a thriller novel that I picked up at Walmart because I wanted some thriller novels. This one's called The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins and this one is a Jane Eyre thriller retelling and I'm super excited to read this one because I absolutely love Jane Eyre and if you're also new to my channel I recently fell in love with classics so Jane Eyre was one of my favorites and I know this one's just going to be dark and stormy. So speaking of Jane Eyre, I actually have a copy of Jane Eyre here that I actually bought because um, I just wanted a quick copy. This one is like the pocket size, mass paperback size. I really like the florals. I didn't know that it was so small, but if you guys didn't know, Jane Eyre is basically about a girl who is orphaned 
grew up in an orphanage, becomes a governess and works for this very mysterious home, educating this girl who only speaks French and then also falling in love with the person who owns the estate. So if you guys want a creepy classic novel, check this one out. So the next book I received is actually a book from Forever Romance. Again, this one's from Melinda Curtis. This one's called Dream a Little Dream. It's about a character who is basically grew up on the wrong side of the tracks, but she decides to write herself and actually become a small town judge. And the first case that she actually has is actually with a guy who is the bad boy and it was the person that she was in love with when she was growing up so I think this one's going to be kind of like a really spicy small town romance. So the next book that I received is actually a book from Forever Romance but I also have a second copy from the author herself Erica Ridley and now this one is her first novel that I think is traditionally published. This one's called The Duke Heist and I absolutely love the cover and I absolutely love like the design of this one. It's one of my favorite designs of this year. This book is about two characters who are looking for the same thing. Our main heroine is looking for a missing piece like a missing painting or whatever whatnot to fulfill her father's dying wish and then she decides to kidnap our duke so that they can both figure out where the painting is. I read this book already. It's very action-packed so if you guys are looking for historical romances with those elements definitely check this one out. So the next book I received is actually from Source Books. This one is An Unexpected Earl by Anna Harrington. This is actually book two in her series and I've already read book one so I'm excited to read book two but Anna Harrington is one of my favorite historical romance authors. This one is a second chance romance between two characters who are kind of caught up in this like really tough game in life where her older brother is actually being blackmailed. So basically our main hero is kind of sets out for himself to have this main purpose where he's investigating a criminal group and making sure that the criminal group is disbanded and not threatening lives of people but then our heroine's brother is caught up in the ropes of it and now they're both are working towards like kind of like a purpose of trying to make sure that the brother is comes out alive and actually comes out innocent. So the next book that I want to show you is actually a book called Into Thin Air. This one has paranormal elements to it. This is basically about a 12th century Welsh warrior turned guardian who has protected his charges for nearly a thousand years, finally can shed his wings and become a human mortal. But what happens is that he's assigned to one final mission. But the one mission is that he needs to save his true love and basically his soulmate and what he doesn't know is that the main heroine who is his soulmate is actually a ghost and she is almost going to die very soon so this one is kind of like a race against time and I honestly love this concept and I can't wait to read this one. So the last book that I want to show you because this book haul is very long already and I want to break it up into some parts is actually another historical romance and this one's my last historical romance I'm going to show you. This one's from Olivia Drake. I never read her novels before but this one's called The Duke I Once Knew and this one is a second chance romance between our two characters who had their hearts broken when they were children and then our main heroine decides to kind of take up on this governess position that he is opening a position up for and this is kind of their romance between getting over their past and finding a new future together. But anyways that is it for part one of this book haul. This book haul is way too long already so I want to split up into different parts so that we can take a break and that we could have some more time to focus on some of the other books that I have to show you. But until next time I'll see you guys again. Bye.